Hey guys, this is Mr. Sal. I'm going to look at uh, simplifying this expression 25 to the power of 5 fourths. And there's a couple ways we can look at this. This is the same as the fourth root of 25 to the power of 5. Now the fourth root means that we need uh, groups of 4 of the same factor in order to pull it out of the root. So I'm going to change 25 into 25 multiplied by itself five times. So this is what I have. And I can see I've got a group of four 25s right here. So this ends up being um, pulled out of the fourth root as just 25. But then I've still got that fourth root of the last 25 right there. Now this was a question from a YouTube viewer, so I'm just kind of doing this off the cuff. It may have asked for the answer in decimal format, which means you could have just plugged that into a calculator in the beginning. If this wants is fully simplified, some I, it depends on what class you're looking at. Sometimes they may say, well, this is fully simplified. However, I'm assuming that we can do the exponent rule on this one. So I've still got that green 25, but let's look at the fourth root of 25. We'll do it over here. The fourth root of 25, well, I can change 25 into uh, its factors, which would be 5 times 5, right? So that'd be the fourth root of 5 times 5, which is the same as the fourth root of 5 to the power of 2. Now, the reason I'm doing this is because we can use that exponent rule to change this root into an exponent. That'd be 5 to the power of 2 fourths. But 2 fourths we know simplifies and that would give us 5 to the power of 1 half which could also be written as 5 to the power of 1 but square rooted. So and we don't really need that exponent of 1 right there. So it depends on uh, what class you're in that they may say well um, if you've gone over the exponent rules like we see right there then that would work. On the other hand, we could have, and this is kind of a different method for this, if we look at 25 to the power of 5 fourths, I could also simplify this or break it up into 25 to the power of, I can, I'm going to show extra steps probably in this one, but that would be plus 1 fourth right there. So that's 25 to the power of 4 fourths plus 1 fourth which would be the same as 25, 4 fourths is 1, plus 1 fourth. And then you'd have 25 to the power of 1 multiplied by the same base, 25 to the power of 1 fourth. Again, it just depends on how, how you've been taught it and how much information they've gone over. Once you get to this 25 to the power of 1 fourth stuff up here, you can break up that 25 to the power of 1 fourth into this um, expression the fourth root of 25 and then simplify it from there. Uh, you know what, let me go ahead and show this anyway. So 25 would be 5 to the power of 2 and then to the power of 1 fourth. That's also going to give us, uh, well, it would be 5 to the power of 2 fourths right there. So a lot of different possibilities on this one. That's a good thing because the more possibilities we have, the more likely we are to understand at least one of them. But either this answer or this one would be correct, depending on the class you were in. So thanks for watching. I hope that was a little helpful for you guys. I know there was several different methods we went uh, on and a couple different tangents, but I hope it was helpful. If it was, please like the video and subscribe to the channel and make a comment below.